go to Mary Botman College. Yeah. And yeah, I went yeah. to Mary Botman College, that was in 1954, yeah. uh, August. I went to MTC. Mm. I started my training in 1954. 1954, August. 1954. Yeah. Mm. And I joined the class mm. for clinical yeah, medicine. Yeah, yeah. I worked. Mm. Uh, I graduated mm. as a clinical officer mm. in 1958. Mm. I was posted to King George the Sixth Hospital. King George the Sixth. King, okay. King, King George the Sixth Hospital. Yeah, yeah, that was, we, now, now Kenya, Kenya International. Yes. Yeah, Imagine. Yeah. I worked <laughs> there for six months. Six months. Yeah. Then I was posted from there to Coast General Hospital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I worked there for one year. Mm -hmm. I worked with the doc doc doctors. Uh, whom I can see, I remember, mm. was Dr. Moyes. Moyes? Moyes, Dr. Moyes. He was a white man? A, a white man. Mm. Dr. Moyes was posted to Kisumu. Mm. <laughs> That's luck. From, from Coast General Hospital. Mm. Immediately he went there. He said he wanted me to work with him. Mm. But he became a PMO in Kisumu. Mm. He asked my name from coast to come to, to, to Nyanza. Mm -hmm. Reaching Nyanza, he told me he didn't want me to work anywhere else. He wanted me to work in Kisi. Okay. I worked in Yamira Health Center mm -hmm. to relieve somebody who had gone on leave. Yeah. I lived in Yamira uh, for three months. Mm -hmm. From Yamira, mm -hmm. I was posted to Nyamache. Oh, uh, I worked in Nyamache for four years. Mm -hmm. From there, uh, 1965, there were posts. People wanted to, who wanted some people for anesthesia course. Yeah, yeah. 1965. 1965. Mm -hmm. I applied for it. Mm. I went for that course. Mm. 1965 to 66. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I became an anesthetist. Mm. I was posted back to Kisi. Mm. It was hectic. Okay. Because I was the only one, the only anesthetist in the district. Then, um, 1966, mm. I was still working in Kisi. Mm. Then, 67, mm. the end of it, mm. I was posted to Garissa. To Garissa? Yeah. All the way. <laughs> yeah. During that time, Garissa was hectic mm. during a uh, shift war. war. Yes. I feared going there, but uh, I worked. Mm. I worked there since uh, eight and nine. Mm. <coughs> then from there, I came back to, to Garissa. Mm. I worked there. Mm. In Garissa, mm. we opened a small theater. Mm -hmm. There never used to be a theater? There, were, there was never used to be a theater. So that's when you opened the theater? Yes. Okay. We used a small room and we called it a theater. Mm -hmm. and then uh, I saw we could do some emergency operations. You were doing it with the local doctors? or? I was, used, I was doing it with the flying doctors. Or flying doctors. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael Wood. Michael Wood. Michael, Michael Wood was the one in the charge of the flying doctors by yeah, then. Yeah. So, things like cesarean section, which I saw was a complicated one, mm -hmm. they could do operation. I arrange, make everything ready, mm -hmm. they come, they came, they did operation. So, so from, they come from Nairobi? From Nairobi. Oh, so flying. you call them from Nairobi? Yes, I call for them from Nairobi. They come and do with a plane. Yeah, with a plane. Yeah. I used the EMO machine. Okay. And the operation was always successful. Yeah. Uh, simple cases like hernia, mm. we did them there. Yourself? No. Mm. I was giving anesthesia, and then the doctor does the operation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hernia mm. and uh, appendix. Mm. We did those cases in Gadisa. Mm. 
I worked there from 60 that year. And then uh, 1970, I was posted to Tika. Mm -hmm. was when Tika was also opened. Mm. Well, Tika was opened in 1970. Yeah, 1970. They, were, they had made a new, a new, a new, a new wing mm -hmm. in Tika. Mm -hmm. And I also made a, a theater there. Mm -hmm. There was no surgeon. They were had only ordinary doctors mm -hmm. who could not do operation. Mm -hmm. But then uh, complicated cases were called surgeons from Kenyatta National Hospital. Mm. They came and do, did operation. They came by road? Yeah, yes, they came by road. Mm. Or if they were flying, they, if everyone was, was urgent, they could fly mm. to Thika. Mm. Then they did operations there. Mm. And, uh, there were some surgeons, like Mr. Khan mm. was a surgeon. Mr. Khan? Mr. Khan, yes, they did an operation. Lucky enough, again, Mr. Khan was posted to Kisi. <laughs> Mm -hmm. When he came to Kisi, he requested the ministry to post me to Kisi. Mm. <laughs> so I was posted to Kisi because of Dr. Khan. Mm. He asked me, could I agree to go to Kisi? I said, yes. Mm. So I came. 1971. 1971. Yes, I came to Kisi. Mm. I worked. Since that time, I never went and uh, out. You have been in Kisi? I was in Kisi mm -hmm. as an anesthetist. Mm -hmm. And by then, uh, during our time, they, to they, they, sh they taught us mm -hmm. to do extraction, teeth extractions oh, during, okay. our, uh, during our training. Yeah, during our training. Mm -hmm. So in Kisi, I was doing dental work mm -hmm. and anesthesia. Okay. <laughs> so I enjoyed my work. Okay, that's good. I was only alone by then. Mm -hmm. We did so much. I was really. You were the only anesthetist. I was the only anesthetist by mm -hmm. then. I worked up, uh, up to about uh, 1972 mm -hmm. when they posted another ca uh, anesthetist there. Mm -hmm. 73, they posted another one, so we became three. We became three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then my work was uh, anesthesia and dental work mm -hmm. and a clinical work in outpatient mm -hmm. when I was free. Okay. So from there, mm -hmm. I was working at the hospital at the very active in the association. Oh, mm -hmm. I was working with very active in the association. Yes, yes. To work for the right of a clinical officer. Yeah. Because during those days, clinical officers were under nursing. They were under nurses? Yeah. Okay. Nurses were administering them. Yeah, yeah. And we said no. Mm. And the clinical officers, whenever I worked, if he had a, cl a, cl a clinical a clinic of himself, mm. was taken, uh, was uh, being supervised by a doctor, and they paid the doctors to for super supervising. for supervising their clinic. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's one I didn't like. Mm. So we wanted to to have our right mm. as clinical source. That is around which year now when you joined the clinical association? 1967, I think. 67. Yes. But the association was already existing. Uh, yeah, it started, I think, 1966. Yeah, it just started a few years before that. Who now opened the... It started the clinical source association. Yeah, clinical source association. It started uh, <coughs> from Homer Bay mm. by the person called Clement Ngala mm. was a clinical officer. He was a clinical officer who later on became an MP from Homer Bay. Okay. Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, he has died. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, 67, I went on. Mm. I became a representative for Kisi. Mm -hmm. and then later on, we went until 1919. Uh, 78, mm -hmm. uh, 78, I, I, had been, I had been a, uh, an organizing secretary mm -hmm. for the clinical officers. Mm -hmm. uh, until 1981, mm -hmm. when I was chosen, uh, 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 chosen a chairman, a national chairman. Mm -hmm. For the clinical SARS. That's 19? 1981. 81. National Chairman. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. While working in Kisi yeah. as a clinical surgeon and an anesthetist, mm -hmm. also do, uh, doing an, a dental work. Yeah, but you could coordinate the whole country. Uh, yeah, I could coordinate the whole country. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, let me ask you there, you uh, know, it must have been quite a tough job because right now with the phones you can keep on calling people. How did you use to mobilize people to come together? Uh, using telephones. The old, the old, the old, telephone. the old, the old telephone. Yeah. Used to mobilize them that way. And we used to have meetings at the provincial headquarters. That's in Akuru. Not only in Akuru, mm. all the provincial all the headquarters. headquarters. Yeah, whenever we went there, so we began provincial headquarters in Akuru, mm. then we could get all the clinical officers from Nyansa and Rift Valley to two, two, two people from every place. Yeah, yeah. So we came, they came, then we worked, and then they saw how we were. Yeah, yeah. From there, we went to Namambasa again, we, 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 we did the same. Mm. We went to Embu, mm. we did the same. Mm. We went to Nyeri, we did the same. Mm. Now, by going to provincial headquarters, we had mobilized all the clinical officers. We had sensitized to them. They had now known the right of the, of, of, of the clinical officers. Yeah, now, that as a physician, I, uh, I don't know how you, how did you make it work in terms of uh, what people were subscribing to it? Yeah. We, were, we made a check of system. Okay. Where we were, then we made a check of system. Yeah. So almost all clinical officers became members mm. of the association naturally. Yeah. So we became active. Okay. Because before that, it was not active because we had no money. But when we came a check of six system, mm. it worked very well. Yeah. So I worked that way. I was elected chairman for three year terms, three times. Three times. How many years? Three years. Three years, three years, three years. Yeah, three times. So, <laughs> uh, until, uh, until I said, now leave me. Because I'd, I'd be seen now other people are trying to have the ambition. So I, th I told them, please leave me now. So they left me. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I started working, mm. being active. Mm. But then from there, I think I, I, think I was again elected to be a, in a General of South Council. Okay. Yes. In the Clinic of South Council? Yes, until, 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 until 19, 1988. Mm. 1988. When the act started, mm. I was also appointed uh, vice chairman of the director. Vice chairman of the? Of, of, of the Clinic of Search Council. Vice chair. Yeah. Mm. So I worked well with them. Mm. I was working well with them. Mm. I never had a problem. Mm. We worked with them properly. Mm. Uh, I think I gained a name. Okay. Because what we wanted is uh, we didn't have district clinic officer, mm. we didn't have provincial clinic officer, mm. we didn't have a chief, we didn't have duties, deputies. Mm. During this period mm. is when we organized all the hierarchy yeah, yeah. of the clinic officers. Started. Okay. And since then we were all right. Yeah. Um, then I worked all that time. Mm while I was in the government, mm. until 1988, mm. when I retired. 1998? Yeah. Now, maybe as I give you time to, to, to relax a bit, maybe you can take care. I want to ask him also to give me a name, now I come back to you. OK. Mr. Yeah. Here you, <laughs> that time was another period of time. <laughs> I would like to hear from you. What, yeah. uh, how did you yourself begin to enter this profession? Mm. Uh. I had, uh, because my work, my brother was a public health inspector, those who inspect meat. Yeah, yeah. So me, I like the, the, the job of being a nurse. Yeah. I just joined nursing, mm. I was called, I was called here, mm. we was interviewed, we were taken to the first people in 1971. Mm. By uh, a sister, P. Anta. 
Anta. So I had finished now by 1974. I had finished. And I, yeah, I, I was posted to Omobe. Yes, Omobe I worked. And most of the time I was working in theater. When I worked in Omobe, I, I worked in theater. I worked in theater throughout for about three years. And I was again reposted back to Kisi. Now, after being reposted back to, to Kisi is when I, I joined clinical medicine. That's now 1981 to 1984. 1981 to 1984. Yeah, I was now a clinical officer, just a clinical officer. Mm -hmm. Then I was again reposted back. Kisi? Yes, I was reposted back under his request. Okay. His, his request. <laughs> I wonder you like it. Yeah, his okay. <laughs> request. The one who requested me. And I've been working even in this clinic. And this, uh, <laughs> see that these are dental instruments. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you use them. <laughs> yeah. the one who trained. With dentistry, I knew nothing, but he's the one who trained me. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so I worked, I continued. I did the work in 1981. Until 1990, I went again for another post post, uh, post clinic called medicine, which was pediatrics. Pediatrics. That's 19? Yeah. 19, 1989 to 1990. Actually, I've been in and out. I went to Homa Bay. I was already again posted back again to the United States. This museum is the one who was always saying, no, let this boy stay here. Mm. Now he was feeding the P3s. Mm. He was feeding the P3s for five districts. Mm. South Nyanza, mm. Kisi district, Migod, uh, Transmara, mm. Kericho. Mm. And where is that? <laughs> it was feeling everywhere. They were bringing it to you to the yeah, museum? Yeah, for now, this museum. Now, let me ask you that one. Now, why were you doing that? Was it that there was no medical officer? There were medical officers there, mm. but then they, they thought I was doing it. I could do it. You could do it. And so I did it. Yeah. So when he was doing now, mm. I was a helper mm. throughout. Mm. Even going to court, mm. <laughs> 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 we had to go to court with him. Yeah. Now let, let me maybe bring a bit. I'll ask you a bit about the training part, but let me ask him. Maybe already both of you, but I want to hear from you. Mm. Rumors, or we hear that there was a lot of politics where maybe medical officers did not want clinical officers to yes. come out and yes, and, and, them and one particular let me mention sorry for but we will not uh, capture for uh, the media but uh, there was one who was a ps in the ministry of the health uh, uh, doctor dr nikar uh, not leave alone nikar later mungai but yeah we have the doctor mungai no i, I did work with as him. a ps yeah I, I worked with them when, when they were peers. Mm. There was a big pressure. And the director of medical services? The director of medical services was Dr. Koinange. Oh, Koinange. Who didn't want us? From Dr. Koinange. Let me ask you, why do you think <laughs> Dr. Like Dr. Koinange, <laughs> Dr. Koinange, Dr. Koinange, you? Dr. Koinange swore mm. within us, I'll never sign an act of clinical service when I'm director of medical service. He swore it. That's what it was. Yes. Now, just a bit. Eh? Were you in a meeting where you were, when you were saying that? Or he, or yes, 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 yes. When we were in a meeting, he said, mm -hmm. I would sign the, the act because he wanted us to be amalgamated with, the, with all cadres mm -hmm. of clinical officers, nurses, and everything. Mm -hmm. That's why he could do But But separate clinical officers, he didn't like. Okay. So, you were going to see him? I had gone to see him in the office. Yeah. He chased me from his, his office. So well, he does not want to see you? He didn't want to see me. Mm. Until when we uh, petitioned mm -hmm. to go to see the head of state. Which one was the Moy? Dr. Moy. Yeah. We petitioned to go and see Dr. Moy. Mm. That's when he was asked, there was an act already which had been prepared for to all the parliament. Yeah. Then it was... Uh, remember all of these acts? It, it was... It was shelved. 
you were shelved. Yeah, he was, was shelved. When we heard that it has been shelved, mm. when we heard it has been shelved, we had to go and petition to Dr. I mean, to the, His Excellency Moe. Yeah. So when we went to see, when we went to see him, mm. we told him, mm. uh, Excellency Moe, you know the map of Kenya. Yeah. We showed him Loktang, mm. Vasa Highland, and those places far, 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 yeah. far where doctors had not worked. Yeah. He was clinic officers who were working in Vasa Highland, yeah. and some, uh, some cottage hostels, mm. like uh, some cottage hostels in Rift Valley, mm. which were being run by Kisang. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> and everything was doing very well. Mm. That's where. In between here, there was a course also when she came I called. Even we recommended. Yeah. When, 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 we said I've never been treated with a doctor myself. When, when, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was a course called clinic assistant. Clinic assistant. Which was um, um, being uh, training in Mombasa. For, okay. For clinic officers. Yeah, yeah. To become assistant to doctors that can do operation. Yeah. Some did operation. Okay. Oh, clinic assistant. He, he was did yes, yes, some did operations. Like which ones? Like, like it, certain section. Uh, mm. We will remember somebody from uh, Mr. Ngala, Clement Ngala. Mm. Did some cesarean section in, uh, in uh, the hospital, in the health center where he was. Mm. And they were successful. But then mm. doctors didn't like it. Okay. Later on, the slow, so slowly it was stopped. It, and then now we were. Okay, I want to hear this. You have heard that you are, we have seen your heart has been shelved. Yes, then we went. And then you, you as the chairman, we went, that you are chairman. Yes, yes. We went to ask You mobilized the other person when yes. we went along. You know, we went to, we went to um, uh, people from every province. Oh, the way you normally meet. Yes, yes. every province. We had a provincial secretaries. Mm. And then uh, the, during those days, mm. we were with pharmaceuticals. Uh, technologies. Mm -hmm. We went there. Mm -hmm. We petitioned to him. We went to the state house. State house. Mm -hmm. And then it's when he asked. Uh, by then, Dr. Koenang had written some uh, mm -hmm. uh, not, notice that we should not prescribe an antibiotic. Okay. 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 So we went to petition mm -hmm. why we could not uh, prescribe an, I mean, uh, antibiotics. Mm -hmm. While anesthetist could have uh, use many sophisticated drugs, yes, <laughs> we, we were not to prescribe an, an, an antibiotics, but anesthetists are using sophisticated drugs, yes, yes. to make a, a patient come up. Yes. And then more asked the Koinange, where is that act which was brought to Parliament? He said, oh, it is there. We shall bring it. Yeah. Koinange, Mbijiwe, or the mm -hmm. Mbijiwe was the minister. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. Koenang was the director of medical service, and the PS was uh, Bijiwa was the the minister. The minister for health. Minister for health. Yes. So they were all there. Yes, they were all at state house, mm -hmm. and the PS was a certain loop. Uh, oh, this is Okero. Isaac Okero. No, mm -hmm. not Okero. Just forgotten his name. Mm -hmm. Was the one who was a minister. Yeah, yeah. Then they were all asked to bring that part to parliament. Yeah. They agreed we shall bring it. So that act which was held was brought to parliament. Yeah. I can't remember that the year. That's what they during the 80s, I can't yeah. remember. So that act was brought to parliament. Mm. As it was brought to parliament, mm. we canvassed. Mm the way we knew, until it was passed in Parliament. Okay. <laughs> when it was there, we can pass. He, <laughs> he personally mm. went to all members of South Africa. Yeah. Uh, all of you? At the night, yeah. and he daily see. Whenever I was off duty, yeah. I went around, see clinical mm. Whenever I was off duty, I was around, mm. went to see. Talking to people of that. Yes. Yeah. 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 So when the when, when, it, when the, the bill came to Parliament, it was well, uh, uh, well mainly passed. Passed. Good. Now tell me, uh, first of all, how did you feel? You know, I can remember when you when it was passed. How did you get the news? 
Where were you what? when you had the, the bill has been passed? Well, it was passed. Then you were here in the prison? I was in the prison, then I, uh, we heard of it. Yeah. Obviously, we had people who were close to State House and uh, who could give me news. <laughs> and I saw I get the news, I called my people immediately. Mm. Then, went, then this thing was passed. Okay. 1950, 1960, 1988. 1988. Uh, that's a clinical source. Ah, to the way it's written. Yeah. yeah. Now, looking at uh, that whole transition that you want, at one point you are the ones managing everywhere, more or less. Yes. And then now the doctors have come in. Yes. And now they stop you from doing certain things. They were trying to. To limit your... Yeah. You are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are practice, yeah. as it were, like not a practice prescribing yeah. antibiotics. Yeah. Uh, but then you, how did you solve that eventually? Uh, that one, on that very day in set house, mm. those prescriptions were stopped. Koinang was told, forget about those things, let them work as they have been working. <laughs> Don't provoke them. <laughs> Because okay. that that's what was provoking us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because we were working, and then they are told not to work. Mm. Yeah? If, really? it is, uh, if it is the, the person to go to the to get antibiotic, mm. you ask the doctor to come and do mm. uh, prescribe. It was a big bad yeah, exactly. Did you experience that yourself? The, that period of uh, not uh, being able to. No, no. Actually, no. Me, I say, I say no. He because came that, in when we had many things around. Yeah, I just came in when food was on the table. Well, yeah, the, <laughs> most, <laughs> most of the clinical officers now are enjoying food. They are enjoying food. They don't know. They don't know yeah. how it works. How it works. Yeah, but because your time. literally, mm. I never had off duty as from 1978 to 88. Day and because night. when I was serving off duty, somebody worked in my place mm. is when I did my meetings mm. in the provinces. Mm. And in the provinces, I made media mm. supporters. Yeah. Then when the media, media supported us, that thing could look, would come tomorrow morning in the media. People and I asked, Talk me, about hey, how did this person talk? Was he on duty in the case? He, well, oh, he was off duty. Mm. So they could not get me. Mm. Yeah. Now, uh, because uh, now from that time, yeah, I can hear a lot of uh, resistance came from the, from the medical officers. Mm. Did we have a chance, maybe nurses opposing the clinical officers? Mm. Like maybe not uh, happy about them or a bit of antagonism here? They were, they were unhappy, all right? Yeah. But then there we are. We went ahead. Mm. We never went, we never put our ears side over there, <laughs> forward ever. Yeah, and yeah. we have gone forward all this time. Mm. I retired. I opened my clinic here mm. uh, freely. There was nobody. Mm. Now I have my lessons working. Mm. I have nobody supervising me. Supervising I, yeah, because I do all my cases, mm. some minor surgeries I do here. I extracted a teeth. Yeah. yeah. I removed cysts. Mm -hmm. I, people were hurt. I do stitching. Yeah, yeah. Very well. Mm -hmm. I have no problem. You have no problem. Yes. Now, Mr. Jensen, let me ask you this one because uh, maybe you are there. Yeah. Because initially, majority of us we have had uh, mostly were transitioning from being nurses to medical assistant to clinical assistant. Yes, yes. Uh, and then, uh, when did that stop now? Kisi started mm. 2,000 years. Oh, the training? Yeah, the training started 2,000 years. Mm. Koyengo was the head. Mm. Yeah. Oh, Konarobi. Konarobi, yeah. Then he, wrote, he wrote, gave me a letter mm. to start it. Okay. So I'm the one who started the clinical medicine in Kisi Hospital. Mm. You know, okay. immediately I was given a letter to start the clinical medicine, and we were given the first students, those who went to Machakos, you know, yeah. the first 10 group. It was you are one of them. Yeah, yeah. Those my first people I was given, mm. and then now uh, the goodness. Actually, the goodness I should say. Mm. This time doctors were becoming very cooperative, especially Doctor Wall. Wall. Doctor Wall. He mm. was in Machakos. No, in Kisi here. Oh, now he's the, he's the one who was is the new maximum. When I was told that uh, you have been given ten students. Mm. Teach them and did they pass, you know, and did they did the exam. Yeah. 
third years. Mm. Oh, I have selected the wall. I have selected uh, other other people. Even Isaac, I used to come to teach them on anesthesia. Mm. You know, mm. I used to bring many, 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 many clean officers to teach them. Yeah. Then when the first group passed, mm. I don't know whether you came to the first group, and the second group also passed, mm. now Kisi was given a, an MTC. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. And now Kisi, Kisi was allowed to be given an MTC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, since, uh, since we, we, we went around, when we were in the council, yeah. we went around marking places where we could get clean officers. Training start. Trains, yeah. So Kisi, me, me being from Kisi, I said Kisi must have one. Yeah, yeah. So it came. Yeah. And then we went to Nyeri. Yeah. Nyeri was put there. And then we went to Embu. Mm. So those provincial places were yeah, given, yeah, yeah. but Kisi as a district was put. It was given also. Yeah. Yeah. But then as, as a whole, mm. we had a lot of resistance from doctors and nurses mm. to work. Okay. But here we are. We are, there. we are existing. Yeah. But that's why we are saying, I think, with, the, with people like you now, when the way we highlight these stories like this, mm -hmm. people should know where these things came from. Because maybe right now, if you meet so many people on the streets or in a, you go to hospital, people might not know. <laughs> but yeah. you're very important to think. I, all, <laughs> all the clinic of us who, who are of my age mm -hmm. know how I work. Yes. The clinical officers presently do not know how it came. Yeah. As Yasen told, they said they found the food is already cooked, they are eating. <laughs> they don't know how this food was cooked. But I suffered. Yeah, yeah I suffered a lot. You suffered a lot. I've told you I Though I was working here, mm. most of the time he used, used to live here. He wants to go to those Mikutanos. Yeah, yeah. And then he comes. Now, I wanted to come now to the private practice, eh? Yes. Right, eh? Where you were saying that uh, initially there's this resistance that you are not supposed to, to, to work alone. Now, private practice, you, you mentioned that you needed uh, someone to cover you. Those days. Those days, until yeah. when? Which until period? when the act came up. Oh, so the act came to... Yeah, when, 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 this, when this one came... Yeah, that one there. This one. Mm. But when this one came, mm. then immediately, immediately we were ah, just that we were. Well, that's just now, something. That was just something, we were right? We were just everywhere now. So the act came to really remove these things. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Since this now we are working. That is 1988. 1988. Yeah, yeah. So you were able to go and register yourself and it, work. Yes. But before that, which means you what did you? Doctors to support you? Yeah. No. In, that, before that, yes. But uh, since I, I started working here at mm -hmm. 8, I've had no doctor to support me. I'm doing things alone. Mm -hmm. That is my license. Okay. Over the council, yeah. Yeah, that's a license for the council. Council, yeah. yeah. Now, let, let me also now put it like this. Eh? Mm. Yeah, now you have come, you have gotten the act, you are working on your own. Yes. And uh, when inspectors come, normally I remember they would really want to make you that uh, you must, uh, I don't know, get permission from the medical. Well, there are times when you'll be asked to go to the medical. Those days, yeah. before before the act. Oh, before the act. But after the act, I've never seen any, anybody yeah. coming to oppose me being here. <laughs> okay. So a lot has to do with that act, eh? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then there is, you can remember there's a time when Kamodo was there. Kimodo. Kamodo. Jo John, uh, Joseph, yeah. uh, the MP. That time, mm. you know, levies used to be put so much on pri private practice. Mm. But that did not, not come out of us, uh, this person from, uh, what do we call him? Arthur Magugu. Arthur Magugu, oh, yes. Arthur. Arthur Magugu. Mm. It's the one who, who caused all the levies for clinical officers that we should not be paying licenses. Oh, I've seen that later. Yes. So You've seen that later? I've seen that, that you caused, he said that they should not pay. Yeah. They should only pay the levies. Yes. Yeah. Because they are sing, single, single species. Yeah. Yeah. Even, a doc, even, a even lawyers. Doctors, even doctors and lawyers, lawyers they don't pay. are not supposed to pay. Mm. Yes. Okay. Yes. And yeah. accountants. Mm. That's when it came to all of them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, during when, uh, but at that time, Joseph Kamodo was also 
Now there's a time Kibaki came as a minister. Why you Kibaki, Kibaki came as a minister? That's that's in fact when we were campaigning to have this act. And is when he and passed. In when he was the minister for health, is when he, he helped us. To, so he really also helped. Yeah. Ah, help. Ah, yeah. Kibaki helped. He the man that Kibaki. So when he was signed, the minister signed, <laughs> and it went through. Okay. When yeah. Kibaki was alive. So you guys have been in favor for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because we had, you know, as I told you, mm. we conversed so much to people who matter. Yeah. People like uh, Dr. Wameo, mm. when he was uh, when he was a minister, he was mm. opposing. Oh, okay. So when we knew the act was coming, yeah. we kept him uh, behind. Dr. Yeah. Dr. Wameo, even Dr. Uh, Professor, uh, Professor, you know, this one uh, of ours, yeah. Oh, that is Ongeli, uh, Professor Ongeli. Ongeli. They were in Parliament, but we never went to, to converse for them. We went, we went, when we went <laughs> campaign to every member of Parliament in Kenya. We sent a person to every because the health centers are in every constituency. Yes. So every member, of every every constituency had to go to his member and talk about it. Yes, yes. That's how we we talk. So we, when they came to parliament, they went okay. through. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yes. That's nice. Now I don't know what uh, you have now watched all these years, and I'm sure you worked with the younger clinicians, even you in the clinic. Yes. I don't know they come work a bit. When I worked with the younger ones, mm. they come from the training mm. not fully equipped. Yeah. With the material. Yeah. Where where is the lack? Where do you see the lacking? Is it uh, knowledge? As when knowledge? as when he came from training, mm. he didn't know much. Mm. I taught him how to work properly in the clinic and uh, now, he can he can accept. <laughs> <Next> <laughs> That's true. That's true. Now, tell me, because we are both of you here. Yes. Where do you think is the problem? You, the way you are trained, what do you think was different from the way we are trained? The, the doctors who are training the young ones now are not training them deep mm. as we were trained. Because you are trained by doctors? We were trained by doctors mm -hmm. and, ex, and ex, ex, expatriates mm. who knew there would be nobody you could consult mm. when you qualify. So they taught us everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like now, you can see Nakuru, mm. when Dr. Nganda was there, mm. that Muindi was there. Yeah, they, you see. Actually, people who knows how to pick mm. properly. Mm. Now the problem has come out that uh, you, you find people who are not, uh, they are just put there, they don't know how no, to work. Uh, as, a, as a whole, even the doctors, when they come from the training, yeah. they don't know most, yeah. most things. Mm. They, they depend on us. Yeah. As when I was at the hospital, mm. many new doctors came dependent on us. Mm. We had to show them what to do. Mm. They even didn't know what to do, how, how to do cutting down. A cut down, yeah. yeah they didn't know, so yeah. we had to show them. Mm. Abdominal paracentesis, mm. we had to show them. Do you think even, you think even, current even, students even, do lumbar puncture? Even doing lumbar puncture. Do they do lumbar puncture? So, uh, they, they don't. What is lumbar puncture? They don't know. So uh, we did lumbar puncture. I think so, no. And yeah. So I don't know. One is the, maybe the conviction and the the, the the commitment those people had in you and put yeah, it in you. Yes. So can we say it's the lack of commitment of present uh, trainers? Yes. Really mold. And the restrictions maybe in terms of well, now there are many people, the doctors are yeah, there, they yeah, want to give their yeah, yeah, yeah. So you find that that's the thing. That would be they are restricted from doing many things. Yeah, yeah. But with us we are not restricted, we are doing everything. Everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now there's this moment when uh, when the island malaria was here. Yes, I don't yeah, know yes. what, what do you think uh, your contribution has been or the contribution of people. Well we treated mm. we treated many patients. Malaria in Greece is very, people. I don't know. It's Even very, now it's very prevalent. It's very, oh, malaria. It's very difficult because mm. we were not allowed to use chloroquine. You know, mm. chloroquine was banned. Mm. And now people are really dying so many. Mm. Until now, even the army came 
You know, I became for assistance, Nikisi. It was an island, Marida, which he brought in. Yes. So, you were already running this clinic? I was. When, when, um, yes. 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 For a I said, uh, how was it? Oh, it was hectic. And I was treating. I was here. Yeah, Isaac was having even some beds here, putting <laughs> IV lines. <laughs> IV lines here? Yes. Because I remember in Nikisi there are people even in the, under the tree. <laughs> yeah, <Yes>. queen in. <laughs> I have even, I now have some beds here for yeah. IV. Yeah. I have one there and another one in this room. Mm. I, I give IV. Yeah. Okay, because, so yeah. I think uh, let me say thank you for your time. And we look forward now that I'm happy that I'm here. You have not used your soda? I'm going to take it now. I wanted to concentrate on your... <laughs> because this one brought me... I wanted to capture this story. Yes, yes. <laughs> and document it forever. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> As you have heard how... Well, I'm, 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 I'm personally very happy. No, everybody... Why even why I came the other time? Everybody talks about Anunda. Nobody... Anywhere. No, everybody knows Anunda. I said, no, nah, I must come. I must come and, uh, and yes, see him. Yes, yes. Oh, I've seen you before, but that time is long. But I said I must come now. Yes, I've, I've done so much yes. of it. Yeah. And uh, patients are even referred to me mm. to treat. Yeah. Patients even come from Kakamega. To come here to, to come. treat. Patients come from Naku, come mm. here. We're here. We, we, yes. So I have to treat them. Yes. Now, uh, just one before you forget. Eh? Mm. Do you know anybody in Nairobi? Why is not Anunda? Is Nunda? Nunda. Nunda. Me, I'm Anunda. No, my name is Isaac Nunda. Nunda. <laughs> Isaac Nunda Yavai. Yeah. Okay. I have some stamps. Mm. I don't have my stamps here. Yeah, yeah. mm. No, but it's good. This one, first of all, this this cover will not get lost. I'll, I'll frame it some. Okay. This one. <laughs> we can go so on. that one day when I saw and plus this picture now, yeah. I think I'm a permanent. <laughs> <laughs>